Alright you guys, so in this part we're going to go ahead and cover undoing actions and history and so on. So let's say we created this image and everything was all fine and well but we messed everything up so I want to undo. Now the first and most important thing is that we created everything as layers. So if I messed up everything I can just go ahead and turn off all of these layers and I still have my original image. So this is one of the most important thing to use layers and so on. So I can always turn them off or delete my layers. Now a second thing that we can always do is if I mess something up. So if I just use my brush tool and I right click, I can actually also change the size, the hardness and pick different brushes. And you can also download different brushes as well. So if I just start drawing on here and it's all nice and pretty, but then, okay, I'll mess something up. I can always use control Z to undo. So you can always go to edit and you can always do step backward, which is control Z. Okay. Now you can always redo as well. And the second way of doing it is you can also use the history. So if you click this tab here, you'll notice that it says history. And if I make it a little bit bigger, you see that we have all of our actions that we've done previously recorded here. And this is exactly what Control Alt Z does. So when I press that, you'll notice that I go back a step. But you can always just open up the history and go all the way back. Now you notice that it has a limited amount of steps that it can go backwards. And this is the main reason why you want to keep everything on layers. So if you can't Control Alt Z, then you can always just delete the layers that you messed up. Now, one thing that you want to keep in mind is if I go somewhere here in the middle, okay, and now I do something new. So I'll make a new layer and I paint it or whatever. You will notice that it will delete all the previous steps. So if I just undo this because I can still do it, and I'll make a new layer, you see all these steps that we have here. So if I make a new action right now, you'll notice that it will delete all the steps that were after this point. So this is something that you want to keep in mind when you undo and then make new actions and so on, that it will get rid of the previous actions that were after this step. 